This is just a very quick video to show you how to use the spreadsheet and to see how much money you can make potentially with using the John Anthony signal service, trading binary options, and also potentially how little you need to actually risk. Uh, so let's very quickly run you through the spreadsheet. I've only got this in Excel at the moment. I'll try and see if I can get this on Google Spreadsheet at some point, but I'm far more used to using Excel. Uh, I can make it look far more presentable. Um, and hopefully you'll uh, benefit from this. If you haven't got Excel, I'm sorry about that. I will try and sort it out. Uh, if you've got Excel, you can download it using the link on the page. And this is what the spreadsheet looks like. Now there are four boxes here, G4, 5, 6, and 7, where you can enter whichever value you want. Uh, G6 and G7 probably don't want changing because they are pretty well set. However, how much are you prepared to invest per trade? That is a figure which can be very specific to your own personal circumstances. It may be you've got um, you know, a fair chunk of money that you're wanting to invest and wanting to trade, or it may be you're the other extreme of things and you have no money to invest or very little money to invest. Um, either which way, I think you know, obviously this appeals to, to people of all, all the spectrum, because if you haven't got much money, then clearly you're doing something wrong or you've not got the income that you need and something like this really can help you a lot. Um, you know, for a lot of people, four or five hundred pounds a month extra would be transformational income because that's enough for most people these days to pay a mortgage, pay a car payment or something like that. And with inflation as low as it is and, and pay settlements being as low as they are, an extra four or five hundred pounds would certainly make a big difference to most families. Um, but it may be also that you're a big investor, you're used to trading stock market and things like that. You've got lots of ICEs, you've got your life insurance and things like that, but you, you want to make some more money. Why not? Um, so yeah, in this box you can put the amount you're prepared to invest per trade. The second box here, the G5 box, how many trades do you expect to make in a month? This is going to depend on whether you're at home a fair amount of the time of the day or if you're at work, do you have access to the computer that you could have on? so that you can receive the trading signals. Um, there are an average of 17 trading signals a day. I'm going to assume that a third of your day you're asleep and so you're not going to be able to get those signals. Um, you're going to miss other signals because it may be you don't get the currency um, pair that's, that's on there or it may be the price runs away before you get a chance to um, get the price and things like that. So I would normally expect to for, for most people to average around about two or three trades per day. If you're going to take this seriously, you just have it on in the background. You don't have, it's, it's a very minimal distraction. You hear the bell ring and you simply go and place a trade. Usually you can get that trade within 60 seconds. Sometimes you have to wait four or five minutes before you get the trade. Sometimes maybe up to 10 minutes. Um, but generally it's just a minute or two. And if you're just doing two or three trades a day, we are talking 10, 15 minutes at most. So you can be doing whatever your normal work is. It may be if you're a stay-at-home mum, you have the computer on, you just turn up the sound so you hear the bell. Because um, as soon as the bell goes, you've got to get over and get your trade. But what I'm saying here essentially is um, the figure I've put in here by default is 50. There's 20 trading days a month because it's Monday to Friday, four days a week, sorry, five days a week, four months a year, four, uh, four weeks a year, four weeks a month, crikey it's late. <laughs> so I've said, let's say an average of 50. Um, what's the past win ratio? This is the figure given by John Ante on his website of, as I'm recording this video, over 3,700 trades, 72% have been winners. What's the average payout rate? Depends on your broker, but normally you're looking between 77 and 80%. So I've gone towards the low end at 78%. It's not going to make a huge difference, 78, 79 that sort of figure, but leave that at 78. So the two figures you really want to play with are G4 and G5. How much can you invest per trade and how much do you expect, how many trades do you expect to make in a month? And if we look at these figures here, just 30 pounds invested per trade with 50 trades per month with a 72% win rate and a 78% payout, you will make 422 pounds, 40 pence profit per month. You'll have 36 winning trades, making 842 pound profit. You'll have 14 losing trades, losing you 420, giving an overall profit of 422 pounds. A very, very healthy return for 30 pound risks. 
So for instance, if you started with 300 pounds and you're risking 10% per trade initially, if you actually do the maths on this, if you were to get 10 losing trades in a row, that's actually a one in quarter of a million chance, maybe one in 300,000 chance um, on the figures that we're talking about with John Anthony. So whilst it is feasible to get 10, your first 10 trades as losing trades is highly unlikely, uh, one in a quarter million. Uh, so if you start with little as £300, you could be trading £30 per trade and hopefully your bank will start to build up sooner so you, you'd have more winning trades than losers at the, um, you know, just on average. Uh, but 36 winning, 14 losing, in a month of 50 trades, you'd be up £422. Now you've got to take away the cost of the John Anthony Signal Service, which is £99. You're still going to make over £300 profit. So is it worth paying £99 to make £300? I would certainly recommend it is. Let's just very quickly, you can play with your own figures here. I trade with £150 at a time, so I'm looking at making just over £2,000 a month, which is the sort of figure that I'm certainly interested in in making because I do this full time. You know, it's, I work from home, so you know those are the sort of incomes that I need to make because I don't have a job. I am self-employed. Um, so yeah, so that, that gives you a, a feel for it. That's how you use the spreadsheet. You can download the spreadsheet, play with some of your own figures, just these first two boxes really. Uh, get inspired, realize the maths works for you. You know, if you're gonna do 60 trades a month, then you'd have 43 winning trades if 72% of the winners and 17 losing trades, you'd make 2,500 on 150 pound uh, investments. If you're a bit richer and you've got 250 pound investments, you could be looking at 4,000 pounds a month. I don't think realistically you'd get more than 60 trades a month. You might, if you're really dedicated to it, doesn't make a huge difference there, 60 to 70 trades. Um, but that's uh, that's where we're at. So hopefully you have a bit of fun with that. Get inspired, work out that the maths work for you. You know, look at the John Anthony signal, there's over 3,700 trades. You work the numbers over the long term, you're it's inevitable that you're going to be a winner. Be very disciplined with your trade. Don't vary your, your investment amounts around. So in other words, if you have five losing trades in a row, don't go and reduce your stake and don't increase your stake. Keep your investments level. Um, work through a block. Once your investments, once your trading bank has increased to a certain amount, then you can readjust your trading amount, uh, your investment amount. But always look to reducing that as your actual trading bank increases you're minimizing your risk so which is why i say on the notes here bring it down to three to five percent as your um, trading capital increases thanks for watching have fun